What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and I'm here today with the review for Ready to Love Season 4 Episode number 10 and the episode is titled Getting Clarity you guys. So without further ado let's get into this video. Actually before we do that if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys are not subscribed to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button stop taking me out on dates and not paying for it. So yeah Let's get into the video, shall we? All right, guys, so the episode, it picks up where the last one left off with Fly Swatter. Y'all remember, she was going off on Amber because you guys remember when she sent, um, when she told Ron he was not ready to love, y'all remember Ron hit her with the, oh, I went out on a date with Amber. Oh, me and Amber kissed. So I was over you already. So Amber's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me kind of clear things up because what Ron told you is not necessarily how it happened. So Amber tells us that her friend was being deployed. So her and her friend went out and I'm guessing Ron and his friends were out. So they hung out. So she says it's not a date. And she says, but Ron did kiss me and I kissed him back, but it didn't mean anything to me. And she says, but you know what, since you're telling me that that made you feel some type of way, you know, I can be woman enough to apologize to you and it's up to you to accept my apology, basically. And Flytrap says that she accepts it. So they move on. But Chris, however, Chris still feels some type of way. He's like, well, damn, she didn't tell me that she kissed Ron. The thing for me is with a lot of these people, it's like, are y'all forgetting that y'all are on a dating show? That's the purpose of the show. You date people. You might kiss people but whatever so then they decide hey first before they decide this next thing they are they hadn't even picked rooms at this point so they go out to pick their rooms and then we see them go and get to the hot tub so we see liz and jason are in the hot tub kyra comes out and kyra is showing off her body then aj jumps in with them and on the other side it is bernicia joel and um flytrap they're talking to each other so, like I said, in the hot tub, it was AJ, it was Kyra, Liz, and Baby Teeth. Baby Teeth is known as Jason. So then Kyra asked Baby Teeth what brings him peace. And Baby Teeth, he didn't necessarily say what brings him peace, but what he did say that I noticed is what doesn't bring him peace, and what doesn't bring him peace is a lack of trust, which I understand that. So then Baby Teeth asked Kyra, what about you? And she said, she says provider mentality. Now all the while she's talking to, you know, Baby Teeth, AJ is listening to this conversation with them and he's noticing that there is a, you know, that he and Jason, Baby Teeth, had the same, you know, I guess questions, reservations, when it, Ooh, excuse me, I didn't mean to break me off. They have the same questions or reservations when it comes down to Kyra. All right. Um, let's move on, and we are going to... Yeah, let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. Next, we see Chris and Amber. So Chris and Amber, they went to have a conversation, and Chris just wants to get an assessment of what happened with um, Ron and with Amber. And Amber's like, but who am I sitting here with? I get what she's saying. Who am I? You know, yes, Ron said that we went on a date. Yes, Ron said that we kissed. But like I said to, you know, Floss Water, it meant nothing. So who am I sitting here with? Now, if this, like if this were in the, if this were the real world and they weren't really like dating or, and they were actually in a relationship with each other, then yeah, that is some, even if, even if this were the real world, and they're still single and they're dating other people I would be I mean I would it would be nice if you told me if you went out on a date with somebody and kissed them it would be nice but it's not something that I'd be like oh my god I can't believe you did that like it's dating like I think and in this day and time I know people have warped the definition of what dating is people because when you say especially when it comes to women when you say that a woman is dating, you know, dating, dating men, they ought to, people just be like, oh, she's dating men. 
y'all know what they mean when they say she's she say like that they trying to insinuate that she's sleeping with people when dating literally just means going out on a date with a person getting to know a person and that's what they're doing in this process you guys are dating each other you're getting to know each other so you shouldn't feel any type of way about I mean and you don't know what kind of kiss it was it could have been a peck on the cheek peck on the lip I mean it, it could have been some tongue involved but you guys are not in a serious relationship so I'm confused but whatever but yeah she told him that yeah they did she didn't they were out but like she said it wasn't a date and then she said he did kiss her in front of his friends and she didn't want to embarrass him in front of his friends I'm like shit I would have embarrassed him in front of his friends like whoa buddy pump your brakes I don't want to kiss you I don't like you like that <clears throat> so then we see Flosswater so Flosswater is talking to Joelle and Vernicia and she's saying that she sees a lot of conflict when it comes to AJ and Kyra you really fishing her like it just feels like she's fishing just throwing her line out there like girl he's fishing you're fishing and I think the reason why she's fishing is because she's insecure about her position with AJ that's my best guess when it comes to fly trap I just feel like she is like oh my god he's torn between me not really and Kyra so she's just looking for any little thing that she can pinpoint but like oh they have this issue between them so that'll drive him closer to me that's what she's doing so we also find out that Joel and Vernicia when they got over things the night before they ended up sleeping in the same room with each other but Joel lets us know he says that they didn't have sex with each other cool they do think that this experience was good for them really I don't know about that Vernicia because like I said last week I just want to been so forgiving of Joel like that and that's just me but I want to been so forgiving of him doing something like that saying you're gonna pick Kyra over me when you was just doing it to as a as a form of getting back I can't get over that but we're different people but let's move on all right you guys so there was something oh we saw the people we saw them in the kitchen cooking breakfast I guess it was Kyra it was Vernicia Joel AJ I believe baby teeth was in there I'm not positive and I think Amber and Chris were in there at one point they were having a good time in the kitchen and then we see Flytrap and Liz talking to each other and Liz is like really gushing over baby teeth you know she feels that they're getting stronger you know what as much as I give baby teeth a hard time I actually kind of think I do see them getting a little closer but I still reserve a side eye for baby teeth because I still think baby teeth is just looking at Liz for her body yaddy yaddy that's just my personal opinion and I could be wrong but that's just the vibe that I get you guys let me know what you think um then Flytrap is talking about her connection with AJ and she's still talking about the fact that there's contention between him and Kyra and I'm like Fly Slawada you're still digging and Fly Slawada and Flytrap is Alexis like you're still digging girl it's like you looking like I said before it's like she's looking for something to validate it it's, she's looking for validation that's all I'm getting is like I need validation oh there's a little crack in the, there's a little crack in the foundation let me go make it bigger like that's what she's giving me so then we see Kyra and baby teeth they go play tennis she sucked at it and after they play they sit down and have a conversation with one another now I do have an issue with baby teeth with this conversation so Kyra tells baby teeth that she feels that he you know he shifted his focus from her to Liz and he's like well with Liz Liz told me straight up what she wanted okay that is true I'm not gonna deny that and she says but Jason I baby teeth I told you from the beginning I only want I wanted to date you and I was like that is true because and actually when you go back and think about it in the beginning 
they were all around. They couldn't, you know, they had the connection with each other. They were going out on dates with each other. So, yeah, so, and she's right. And for me, I think she, when, when baby teeth started to switch up on her was when Liz showed up to the masquerade ball with that dress on. I really, because prior to that, baby teeth never showed any interest in Liz. Like, just putting that out there. So... So um, he asked her about AJ because, you know, she's in the same situation with AJ. She likes AJ, but she likes baby teeth at the same time. And he was confused. He threw me for a loop at this point because she was talking about her feelings, how she doesn't know what's what. And his face, I'm like, well, how are you, ju how are you looking at her sideways when you can't make a decision between her and Liz? Y'all are both in the same boat. Like, that was what threw me for a loop. I'm like, you're both in the same boat at this point. She likes um, she likes you, and she likes AJ. You like her, and you, and, um, you like Liz. Y'all are both in the same situation. So I was thoroughly confused by that one. So then we see AJ and Flyswatter, Flytrap. They go in the tower. That would have been a hell no for me, because I'm definitely afraid of heights. So she apologizes to him for the prior day. And so she also um, asked him, like, where is he leaning at this point? And I'm like, girl, you are getting strong. I'm like, I don't see how she doesn't see it. I, I, Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles could see this. He's hemming and Han because he never flat out said that you was where he was leaning. What he did say was, you know, Kyra, he, what, he was, what he was saying, and I'm going to break it down. What he was saying is when it comes to Kyra and Flosswater, Kyra is what he's used to. And what he's used to might not necessarily be what's good for him. Now, when it comes to Flytrap, she, however, is what's safe. I wouldn't want either one of those options to be quite honest. I wouldn't want either one of those. Because neither one of them are, neither one of them sound good. Kyra is what you're used to. So what you're used to is not good for you, lack of communication or whatnot. But safe? I don't want to be somewhere where I'm just safe. I want to be somewhere where I am happy. I want to be somewhere where I am satisfied. I want to be somewhere where I can just let my guard down and be myself. I don't want to just be safe because safe isn't good either. Because safe to me, when you say, when, and the way he was saying safe, safe to me sounded like settlement. You guys can let me know if, you, if, you, if that's what you were thinking as well. But for me, when he said safe, safe to me just sound, sounded like he was saying, I'm settling. Because Kyra is not what, Kyra is what I'm used to. I don't need to be with that. I need to be over here with safety, settlement. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys think the same way that I think. Um, but let's move on. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up. So Tommy shows up and he starts having the conversations with the men. So the first person he talked to was Baby Teeth. And he asked Baby Teeth, what was this experience like for him? And Baby Teeth says that, you know, he feels like with Kyra, he finally got what he had been wanting from her. And I was just like, but she's been, she's, Honestly, Kyra has been sem has been consistent with Jason because she said she's been saying Jason is who she he she wants, but she's torn between him and AJ. And she said, you know, AJ is she's torn. But I've always felt like for Kyra, except for that one episode when Baby Teeth was talking about his um talking about was he does he does he see a therapist or does he have some mental health issues? No, yeah, he does. He has depression. I think he said depression. That was the one episode where she was just, that was the only episode where she gave me a little bit of leeway on Baby T. But other than that, I felt like she's been with, she's been rocking with him from the beginning. Um, so then Tommy asked Baby T, if he were to leave today, who would it be with? He chose Liz. I was like, wow. That is so interesting. That is interesting. 
because in the last men's deliberation that they had, you guys remember when he went on that date with Kyra and Liz with his friends, right? When his friends were talking about they could, you know, the, the, the um, was that his friends that were talking about? How religious, yes, that was his friends that were talking about how religious she was. And in that, in that episode, when they were with Tommy, when ex, that was the ex episode where Joel said he would take um, um, Kyra and Jason and Baby T said Kyra in that episode, but now he's flipped it to say Liz. Confusing. So then Tommy goes and talks to Chris and Joel. So Chris tells him about the situation with, you know, Amber going out with Ron, kissing Ron, but he's good. Then Joel tells him about him and Bernicia. When they first got there, things were not good with them, but now things are good. And so Tommy says, well, who would you guys, so it's a definite that you're going with Bernicia. He says, yes. And it's a definite for Miss Amber. He said, yes. So then he goes and talks to AJ. So AJ says with Kyra, he has this struggle with her when it comes to communication. And he was talking about how he overheard that conversation that she was having with baby teeth and how different it was, but they still both have the same reservations. And then he says with Flytrap, he is just not sure he can make a decision. And Tom was like, well, my buddy, because he asked him if you were to leave this process today, who would you leave with? He couldn't give an answer. Well, Tom was like, well, you're going to have to give an answer. So then we see him and um, Kyra talking and he tells Kyra about the conversation with Jason. And then he asks her where she stands and Kyra says that, you know, she's not quite sure. So then he tells her, you know, she's not ready to love. But at the same time, they're holding, their hands are locked and he's still holding her hand. And she's like, well, can I have my hand back? He says, I don't want to give it back. And he asks her, you know, what did he ask her? Ask her if she wants to be there with him. So I was like, that's interesting. And then in the preview for next week's episode, Kyra's still around saying she got some unfinished business with baby teeth. Interesting. Now, honestly, in this episode, I figured when it came down to elimination, I knew it would be Kyra that would be on the chopping block. But at one point I thought that it was going to be Kyra and Liz and it was gonna be up to um, Baby T to decide. But then when I saw AJ, I'm like, oh no. It's gonna be between um, Liz and, uh, not Liz, but Kyra and Flyswatter. It's gonna be interesting. But um, yeah, that's it you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Share this video and until the next one, you guys stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask, or not, whichever one you do, be safe in doing so. Be blessed, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.